Hey, this is Sam with Cycle, and today I'm gonna to show you how we convert Apple Music's audio to Cycle so that we can listen to our favorite tracks paired with an audio responsive visualizer. So let's get right into how to route our audio from Apple Music so we can start visualizing our tracks. For users on macOS, simply download and install Loopback, a program that allows us to route audio from programs like Apple Music to Cycle. Once installed, just create a new audio source at the top and select Apple Music. Then, within Cycle, we can select our Loopback audio as our input. It's just that easy. And now, when you start the visualizer, you will immediately see it react to the incoming audio. For users on Windows, I recommend downloading and installing a virtual audio cable. Then, in Windows Audio Settings, select the virtual audio cable as our output. Once you log into Cycle, within the main screen under each visual engine on the left-hand side, we can select our virtual audio cable as our audio input. There are a lot of settings within Cycle, including creating visual playlists, watermarks, visualizing behavior, frequency reactiveness, and much more. But to learn everything within Cycle, check out our other guides in the description below. For now though, let's go through the hotkeys available within Cycle, which allow us to customize our experience as the visualizer is going. You can view all of the hotkeys at the top right of Cycle's dashboard. So, Enter will lock the current visual in place. Space will cycle to the next visual in the queue and Backspace will cycle to the previous visual. L will toggle your watermarks on or off, and 0 through 9 will cycle through all of your watermarks. M will toggle your marquee text on and off, and finally H will hide the toolbar at the top so you can go full screen. So now you know how to use audio responsive visuals with Apple Music. Make sure to like the video if you've learned something, and check out our other guides on everything cycle. Thanks so much for watching.